Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, I'm so happy to say convention season is starting again. It's 2023 and if you guys saw all my 2022 convention vlogs, we've been to like what, eight conventions? That's crazy. And 2023, we're starting it all up again. We're kicking 2023 off with a convention called Pet Expo. I've never been before, but if you guys saw last year, I've been to Horse Expo because I love horses and it was a convention with just horses so this one is a convention with all kinds of exotic pets and this convention also has a whole schedule with pet shows with dogs and rabbits and pigs i've seen alpacas and owls i am so excited i don't even know what to expect today but i'm a huge animal lover so i'm so excited i'm gonna get my hands on and hug every animal that i can and i'm also going with my two convention friends jeff and rosanna so we those pets are not ready for us. We are gonna hound them with all our love. If you're excited as much as I'm excited, don't forget to like and subscribe, join the herd. Let's get started. So this is the fit. Be the person your pet thinks you are. So you know how regular conventions have like artist alley and vendors? This is specifically just for pets. <gasps> Never mind, it's for people too. My worms on a string. My family. I know these are for cats, but I loved playing with these as a kid. I used to have one, and my dog, Anthony, would also want to play with them, and I would have to hide them from him. I want them. Mmm, get it, Remy, get it. I think I'm meant to be a cat. I love your little inflatables. They're so cute. These are beaded dog collars. Look at his beaded necklace. They could wear flowers. Okay, bougie. I have asthma and allergies. I had to pop an Allegro before I came here today. Oh, he's cute. Wow, you're adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Oh, that's it. He's not gonna let me do that. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Yo. Open your eyes. Whoa. Is that your name? George. Hi, George. Did you feel the silliness that he did? I did. You carry that on indefinitely. <laughs> Sometimes you have like a, an equalizer or something you can kind of embarrass a person. <laughs> Be the person your pet thinks you are. You better. Yes. Draconis anolis carolinix. That's his Latin name. Many varieties of this lizard. And it's very normal because it's something that they have to do, as I said, to hide in that color. But because this is ambient temperature oh, and you okay. are almost 9,800 degrees, it just feels good. There's a friend named Stephanie, it's her co-worker. And when we were little, she had a little lizard like this and his name was Mr. D, it stood for dragon. And we would babysit him. One time we were showing my dog this lizard, Anthony, and then he engulfed him and put him in his mouth and all that we saw was his tail sticking out. But we got him out and he's okay. I always wondered what kind of lizard Mr. D was. He looked like the Geico insurance lizard. And I wonder if maybe this is what he was. His eyes are closed. He's sleeping. I want to bring him home so bad. It's like the butterfly pavilion all over again. Down? Guys, comment down below. What pets do you have? What's your dream pet? And also, what is the name of your pets and how old are they? Okay, I have Piper. Piper is two years old. She's almost three though. I think my dream pet, I don't really have a dream pet, but I would just want like three dogs. My dream pet, I want like a family of dogs. I keep the whole family together. But maybe like like three siblings. Like so that way they're never like bored. Oh, of each never other. separated. Maybe, like three twins of like the same breed. And I had Angus. He was like my childhood dog. Yeah, he was my best friend. <laughs> oh, he sadly passed this summer. So I have three dogs. I technically have two, but I cannot fathom the fact that I lost my dog Anthony. I've had him since I was three years old. He was a Yorkie. He died at 15. My best friend, a Maltese. Her name is Skye. She just turned 14 in January. And we also have another dog named Kingsley. He's like our family dog. He belongs to my sister. My dream pet is to have a horse. I would love a mare, a stallion, and I would love to know what it's like to have a, a foal. That's a dream of mine. That's the big ultimate goal of my life to own my own horse and I would also like to have a ferret I love ferrets I don't know how many I would like to have but they're so cute and I also have never had a cat I kind of want to experience what it's like to have a cat and also have my own dog so maybe my future house might be a zoo oh but I've also had three birds their name was Spongebob, Sandy, and Patrick. Oh my gosh, they were a huge part of my childhood. I miss them so much. They all passed away. Oh guys, and today is March 11th, and today is TT's birthday. He's a horse in my barn, one of my favorite horses. 
that passed away. We're at this pet expo. It's like a great way to celebrate him. This is gonna be the first show we're seeing. There's a lot planned for Saturday. We're gonna try to see each of these and luckily they do show up twice in the schedule. So if we miss one, we have a backup. And look at all everything they have under here. Like these are all the vendors. Guys, there's pony rides. Let's see if I can fit on a pony. So you gotta Google the dy dy Dynamo, Dynamo dogs. They are really famous. Dynamo? Dynamo. <laughs> They've been on like so many talk shows. I just figured out that really? they existed today, yeah. There's a whole biography that I can insert here about them. They are so fascinating. I can't wait to see them. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. By turning on its side and rolling it, we turn that play drive into play drive. And there we go with this little drop toy. <laughs> Eleven, and I bet his joints are so healthy. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! One, two, three. Rosie. She is a 10-year-old border collie. 
I rescued her when she was six years old from home at Last Dog wow. Rescue. She's been with me for four years. She's oh. ten years old now. And she was actually a breeder dog. So you can wow. get her bred dogs in rescue if you're willing to rescue. But this is her first major event that she's getting to attend. Oh. She's doing an awesome she's job. She's doing great. Free samples? Look at these tiny ones. I had one as a kid. But I, yeah, I had the big ones. They breathe. You can hear them snore. I think I had a cat, but also I want to say I had a dog too. Really? Yo, look at this Yorkie. This is your little pet shop. <laughs> That's the dollar store version. Yo, there's no need to stop the party ducky without mama us. Was my <laughs> Yo, ducky mo, ducky mama. Hey, you want to cosplay today? Ew. That's Mia. He even <laughs> got a vein. <laughs> I loved these as a kid, but I had an orca. Like it was a killer whale from SeaWorld, and I would bring it everywhere when I was a baby. Oh wow, they actually are cool. Of all the pets here. This one's my least favorite. The one pet not certified to be here. Show us the fit! Hey, pop off! They interacted with the stuffed animal like he real. <laughs> Someone tell him. I want to do that. She got her damn dog in her chest. The eyes are staring right at the herd. <laughs> it's the littlest pet shop! Oh my god, I loved it. Yo! Wow! Coloring activity book. Coloring activity book, coloring and activity book, and coloring and activity book. I've noticed they always use these two pets in their promo, but these two pets never even existed, except in the TTC form. But watch my littlest pet shop videos. Hey, he pulling up with the whip. You look adorable. Wow, he's adorable. I love him. You guys are so talented. When you have short legs, but your friend is taller, like so they could carry you around mutually. It's a little jacket for the donkey. Everyone's fashion is killing it today. Did anyone else love going to PetSmart and getting your pets collar engraved? I used to sit there and watch the machine, right, Anthony and Sky. Guys, I want to eat this stuff. Any dog owner, have you guys ever been through a moment where you want to eat your dog's treats? Like, what do they taste like? They eat that shit like it's the best meal they ever had. I don't want to be a live, laugh, love house owner, but I want like stuff. It's I want live, laugh, love. It's gonna be bark, <laughs> nay, and I don't know what else. <laughs> <laughs> I would want subtle animal decorative things in my home because I'm a, such an animal lover and these these things I feel like are aesthetic in the right font. Bum sniffer. Hi. Australian hey. Shepherd, you're beautiful. What's your name? Ducky. Ducky? Yeah. Ducky. Ducky Momo? They look so tiny. I never seen cats so tiny. Oh. Airplane ears. This is their little security. <laughs> oh. Hi baby. Oh, she likes you. Oh, you're so soft. What's her name? Cricket. So when she was little, she would hop around. No. Oh. Hop around in the grass. Oh, I love that. Oh my I god, you yeah. Check them out, guys. <laughs> the kitten mission. Save a life, save the world. He looks like Garfield. She's so, yeah, she's incredible. Wow, look at her little black nose. I've never seen a black nose on a cat. Hi, Tricks. Wow, that's your farm? And you guys rescue pets? We're a non-profit rescue. You're popped off today, okay? We got an arcade in here. Okay, I feel like I'm down the shore. Yo, I'm back in Wildwood, New Jersey. I'm here in the boardwalk. I love watching people hang. I'd be like, I'd be hyping them up. I'm like, go, go, go. What does that have to do with animals, though? You hang your dog up. The one thing I love about this convention, it's in the same place that we went to majority of our conventions on my channel. But it's like smaller in a way, but it's not overwhelming. So you definitely have to check out Pet Expo because the way they organize the layout, it's more digestible than I've ever seen it. And I like how Pet Expo is not only showing pets, but it's clearly open to bringing your pet. I would love to have brought my dog Sky, but she don't know how to act in public. She would have been barking, biting, and screaming. Is that a Yorkie? Yeah. Oh, I have a Yorkie, they're the best. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait till you see where I'm at. I'm home. We're with farm animals. Guys, check this out. It's Barnyard Petting Zoo. Guys, so they have pony rides. As if I don't like ride horses already. Every time I see a horse, I want to ride it. But sadly, it says only pony rides have a 50 pound weight limit. Do I look 50 pounds? You think I can tell? You think I can get away with it? No. He's so handsome. Look at the little pony over there. Everybody can eat except the pony. Except the pony, and okay. The rabbit pony. Rabbit, okay, thank you. <laughs> Where's your knee? Where's your foot? Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, look at his eyelashes. You're gorgeous. I love the little tinsel on her hair. Her mane. Lacey, you're adorable. Cha-cha. I'm going to feed each one of my cousins. They look like 
grown men. Billy Ray. Two baby. Mochi. Billy Cyrus. Mochi. Billy Joe. Tamagotchi. Stupido. Madre. Say subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> hey. Do you want? We're playing a game called Siblings or Lovers. If they get this one, they're siblings. I think. Siblings. <laughs> Say bye. I like that they're doing. Look, they're taking photos. Wow. Oh, this is so cute. So anyone can bring their dog in this course. Should I go in? She's grinding. She just took the photo, and now she's back to editing. <laughs> wow. You look like a little bougie little girl. girl. Okay, fresh cut. Look at them toes. She loves guinea pigs. She actually got her guinea pig here last year. Yes, I did. Yes. So we're glad to see you here. Tell them Small we're world. On TikTok page. Oh, please follow us. We are this week's at on TikTok and even on Instagram. <laughs> Insert link here. <laughs> we have yes. videos pretty much three four times a week. So yeah. we love fellow animal lovers. Love to see it. We love to see it. Equestrian technology. You ride horses or you're just I ride. I wish I had a horse. Nice. Oh. Okay. Well, we got the human unit here, so if you Ooh. do ride, this might be something to help you out. Yes, it's tell me about it. Beamer increases blood flow through the body's mm. microvessels, so we have 70,000 wow. miles of these tiny, tiny vessels, small and strained mm. here, will play a huge role for our ability to deliver oxygen and mm. eliminate waste. So all that junk that you need to function, you need to get rid of it. I can't imagine how horses feel too with it a horn. Oh. We don't want any more horses to lose their life here any earlier. So yes. We need to take care of them. They take yes. care of us. So they I'll do. So Thank you so much. No, yes, I'm putting it all in. They need to hear this. They need to hear this. I do do, um, you know, visits. Ooh. And you can take that too. They're sitting like two red loaves. You guys can move a little bit. One's wheat, one's white bread. <laughs> what are they thinking about? This is all made with their fur. Wow. When well, people got these dangling on their bags. On their bags. Guys, the llamas are out. I'm, I don't know where they're going, but I'm gonna follow them. Hey! Oh my god, they're like the size of us. <laughs> Tell us your name. Where are you from? We out here with Becky and Susie. <laughs> I love dog strollers. I grew up spoiling my dogs, and in a way I do regret it because they ain't as active, but I have a thing where every summer I'm more motivated to work out, and my way of working out is running around my block for like an hour with my dog stroller. I think it's the most fun thing because my dogs get some fresh air, I get some fresh air, I get to work out, and I just love doing it. Who's got to walk when you could be pushed? And I always bring my dogs in public, and I have a dog stroller where it's like closed in, so everyone thinks I have a baby, so I've never been kicked out for having my dogs in a stroller so far. Her ears like she has like human hair whoa oh my gosh show us the fit pop off period oh look a, a cat in a in a space shuttle space shuttle oh, they're doing dogs yeah, two best friends in a room they might kiss you guys look it's a rat they're so cute Guys, why are you sleeping with his face on the floor? Guys, if you see my Wildwood vlog, I do a mad seagull impression. But I can do turkey too, right? <laughs> They're communicating. Yeah. Yeah, like Dr. Doolittle, look. Try again. I just tell us your name one time. Yeah, he can't even look down and see his own feet because his feathers are so big. <laughs> Ready? Everyone, what's that? We'll ask him what his name is. What's your name? What's your name? How many toes you got? <laughs> oh, there he goes. It's Susie. Oh, it's, it's Susie. Susie. <laughs> I've never seen a turkey in person. <laughs> Yo, that chicken got a toupee. <laughs> Look at these ducks. In third grade, we had a project where we hatched chick eggs and we got to raise them and we got to like have their eggs in an incubator we named them all it was the cutest thing and we have little ducks with us
What's the reason for cutting their horns? Do we they get too we, long? No, we didn't cut that. Oh, oh he was, really? He was horned by somebody else. Oh, that's so sad. Like, what, what would you get out of cutting their horns? I guess people think that it's like, that they causing damage to their property, maybe. You know? Oh, I see. Let's look at this bird. I don't know what kind it is, but she's beautiful. Cat Noir! This whole section over here is dedicated to cats. Look how long his ears are. Siamese cats are my favorite type of cat. Yo, you build different! What's up with you? Oh my gosh, what kind of cat is this? for Selena. Hi. You team Selena? Blink once. He's team Selena. Look, they have a business card for their cat. Savannah got her own PowerPoint slide. Oh. Savannah, read. So this is a cat show. What deciphers the winner? Appearance, behavior. So it is based off appearance. I thought about that cat show. Dog shows are fun because it's like they're running around, they get to be dogs and play, do tricks. The cats and the cages and being voted on their appearance wasn't my favorite. Maybe it's just not for me. Let me know what you guys thought. Look at that snake chilling on the lawn chair. Look at this big tortoise. Oh, he's cute. Look, he's cooking. Look, they're bathing together. This one looks like it's flat. What's it like being like this kind of animal? Like, is it hard bringing your own weight around? Well, I mean, you don't know any better, but... It's a bunch of crocodile or alligator. But I've always wanted to be Shawn Mendes, so I'm excited. <laughs> But then like once I was standing there and he was about to bring out the snake, I was like, no, I'm scared. But then it looks so cute. Was it heavy? It, it was heavy around my neck. It felt really heavy. <laughs> but when it was in my palm, like his head, his head did not feel Aww. heavy. But around my neck, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I touched the crocodile. He literally felt, or an alligator, I don't know who he is, but he felt like a leather seat. Like he felt cushiony and like dry. It was nice meeting Shawn Mendes though. I love his music. Three Yorkies. <laughs> two babies, two babies, two babies. <laughs> Loki, oh, you a playful so little baby. <laughs> I love when they play by. Wow, he's really tall. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's great. He beat me up. My name is Michael. I am from Rainforest Reptile Shows. I used to live and work in Florida. All I did in Florida all day long for many years was play with alligators and crocodiles. I am maybe one of 12 to about 40 people in the world that has worked with, played with, and the key word is chased by all 27 species of crocodiles and alligators in the world. His name is Crow, and uh, he's very beautiful. Red Tegu. Does he look red? That's because he has a genetic anomaly. All right, here's poison. Poison goes through the nose. The tail that he could blind that animal is She's dressing up her lizard in a cosplay. So everyone say hello to my friend Frank Sinatra. This old blue eyes right here is a leucistic Burmese python. Alex, any slime on your face? Very good. Alex, do you know who is slimy? I am never picking you again. <laughs> Would you like to meet an alligator? <laughs> Say hello to Jelly. Hey, Shawn Mendes. More time, please. <laughs> oh, wow. So when I say go, Charlotte, you're going to take that hand and you're going to take the tape off his mouth very carefully. Now, I'm going to close his eyes. His eyes go right inside his head. So the reason alligators pull their eyes inside is so they don't get them poked out when they grab an animal. I'm going to close his eyes, hold his mouth. Go ahead, Charlotte, take it off. That's right. Touch him right there. Never do that again. Now, do you know what you do? Run. I need uh, two great volunteers. I'm taking that girl with the camera right there. What's that? What YouTube channel? 
Uh, I'm going to get a royalty off that? Okay. All right. Hey, what's your name? Right there, Mia. Dylan, come over here, Dylan. Round the head. Be peas on you, it's just Gatorade. It's okay. Here's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. Alligators have wide, broad skulls. They are rounded. Crocodiles have slender, triangular noses. This alligator, when he's full-grown, Dylan, will be from me to that nice lady, Laura. And he will live as long as we do. Do not run zigzag from an alligator. Run straight away. Do not be chased by an alligator, and that won't happen. If you're in the water with an alligator, see that tail? That swims 26 miles an hour. Look before you leap. Alligators don't care if it's a cement pond in clear water or if it's a dirty drainage ditch. They don't care. Okay? Hold it. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Keep holding him, Don't let him go. Alright? But if you went to Florida, what kind of animal would you watch out for? Alligators, guys. Please, please, please be careful wherever you go. You saw me kiss him. I was like thinking, right? And I'm holding this side. And the kid was just like lift his butt or his tail. So it's heavy? Really? He, the kid was like barely lifting up his tail, which is fine because he's heavy. But oh my god, I, you saw me. I was like, like I, I was cramping up. He's beautiful. What kind of animal is he? Is that American Brownman? Guys, I'm gonna do an activity that I'm actually kind of nervous about. I'm gonna ride a cow. <laughs> His name is Gus. Show him you could be a bull rider too. Gus the Brom. So he's a Brom. I was scared. I felt like I was actually gonna fall. Like, what if he like acted up? Or what if I flew over his head and his horn stagged my skin? And I felt so vulnerable without a helmet. But it was an amazing experience. Now I'm glad I got to, I get to say that I wrote, ridden a Brom, or whatever that is. But he was beautiful. Look at this little boy. He got a license plate. They got school bags on. Okay, twinsies. You so baby, look at your little boys. You want pickle on a stick? There's Remy. a pickle on a stick. His name is Remy. <gasps> Remy, Remy, to me. Guys, we're gonna do free pickle shots. Ready? Okay. Cheers. To Pet Expo. To Pet Expo. Mmm, good. Oh, it's good. I'm on board. I actually like it. Mm. Look, horse thing again. Grooming hands. Ooh. Take out the creek comb. You got gloves. Come here to get your dog's nails cut. Piggy Villa. <gasps> Look at his little tooth. They'll paint you a picture. They got like a king size mattress in there. Can you do a figure eight and go through my legs? Good job, Archie. Good job. Now, pigs in generally, they do not see very well. You can see his eyes are a little deep, but pigs can actually hear and smell a thousand times. So soft. Between his ears is so warm. The softest part on a rabbit is back behind the two <gasps> ears. Oh wow. <laughs> this is a full arch breed. The white paw. That's Look, right. The Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
baby, you baby, you good boy. Hi Mia, we're gonna get a picture with you. Hi, my name is Mia too. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our time at Pet Expo. I know we did. I hope to see you guys next year. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave comments everywhere. Have a blessed day. <laughs>